as you can see here we got a cold air intake filter as you can see we got a red one this is from the honda odyssey if you guys remember i installed it as a short ram and today i'm going to be installing it on this 2004 nissan altima we're going to be installing a short ram intake just like the odyssey like we did but this one's different because we're going to need an adapter which is this right here this is the adapter we need to fit it on so this basically just goes on right there as you can see there's four bolts and these just go in and then the filter will just slide in here just like that but we're going to be installing this real quick so first off we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off the old filter uh, first we're going to start by unplugging the mass airflow sensor so just get your hand back here unplug it just like that so now we're going to do another step which is take, take off these two clips just pull them back like that and now we can take the air box off. Also, I forgot to mention, you have to unscrew it down. You have to unscrew this screw here. Unscrew the hose clamp. Take the, the hose is loose, so now we can just pull on this and pull it out. So now what we gotta do is, we're gonna take off these four bolts. As you can see, there's one, two, three, and four. This is for the mass airflow sensor. So they're 10 millimeters, so we'll grab a 10. I'm just gonna loosen them up for now. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Alright, so now that the four screws are loosened up, we'll set this aside, and then we can take off the air filter. Set that aside, don't throw it away. So now we're going to go ahead and take off the screws the rest of the way so we can install the adapter. So I already took off two of the screws. Now don't lose these screws. You're going to need them just in case if you ever need to reinstall the stock airbox. So we just need to take out one more screw down here. And there it goes. It comes right off. Now we can set this over here. We don't need that anymore. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this, put it right there. So this is just going to go on like this, align it properly, and it just goes on like that. So now we just need to screw it in, but first we need to take off the nuts and then screw it in with the, with the bolts. Now keep in mind there's a, gas, there's a gasket on this, so as you can see there's a gasket on it. So keep in mind the gasket's going to get crushed, so what you're going to do is, gonna, if I can do this properly. So what you're going to do is you're going to align it just like this. Make sure all bolt holes are aligned. And then you'll grab a bolt, put it in, and then we'll tighten it down with the nut. We'll just put the nut in and get that all tightened down. We'll do the same thing for all the other three of them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I only managed to get three of them in because I lost one bolt inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but that shiny thing right there, that's the bolt, it fell in there, of course. But as long as three of them are in, this thing's not going anywhere. So now we can go ahead and get the air filter, which is this. This is a three inch inlet air filter. So we'll just go ahead and put this in. Make sure we bottom it out. So we're just gonna put this in there. So I'm gonna quickly put this filter off camera, but make sure the, fil the filter goes all the way in and seals correctly. So now that the filter is bottomed all the way out, we can go ahead and tighten down the hose clamp. Once the hose clamp's tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the intake filter from the boot right here. Once it's connected, we'll tighten down the hose clamp on this end. Make sure it's tight. Then we can go ahead and reconnect the mass airflow sensor, which is this, and it just clicks in just like that. So now we're just gonna position this the way I wanted to. So usually I take off the bottom, but since this filter isn't that big, it fits correctly. So pretty much that's how you install it. It's that simple on a 2004 Nissan Altima. This is the 2.5, uh, it's that simple. So yeah, now we're gonna start the car up and see how it sounds.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start it up and see what it sounds like. All right, here we go. So as you can see, the car is not stalling because of the, since we installed that adapter, it's not gonna cause the car to stall or anything. So we're gonna give it a few revs. Well, first we're gonna let it warm up for a bit and then we're gonna give it a few revs and hear what it sounds like. So it's been about a few minutes. The car's already warmed up just a bit, just so we can hear what it sounds like. So we're gonna go ahead and rev it up and see if we can hear any difference. Now, obviously you can hear a difference. Now let me put my camera outside and you'll hear a big difference. That sounds a lot better than compared to stock. I'll put a stock clip right here and you can hear what it sounds like stock. So this is what it sounds like stock. As you saw, it is very that simple just to install a short ram intake on this 2.5 Nissan Altima. And what you do is you're going to want to keep the spare parts as you can see now. You're going to keep the spare bolts that you have here from the adapter. And you're going to keep the intake. You're going to keep the stock one here because you're going to need it just in case if you ever need to put it back on or something. So we're going to keep these here so we don't lose them. But pretty much that's how you install a short ram intake on a 2004 Nissan Altima. So yeah, it's very that simple. And we are done installing the short ram intake on this 2004 Nissan Altima. If you like the video, leave a like, comment down below if there's any suggestions what I should do to this Nissan Altima because we're going to be doing cool things on this Nissan Altima. Also, leave, also subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.